Well, hello guys. Welcome back to the Mind Fanatic server. Uh, T Dubs here, and we are back at my base. And as you see, some things have changed. Um, done a lot of additions. Uh, I've started a project finally above ground, so I'm not a hermit anymore. Oh, well, I am. Biggest hermit you'll probably ever know, but. Now we have a base above ground, and I have some great ideas that I would like to share with you. Uh, Alright, so here's a little pathway that goes to this area right here. And if you click that right there, that should go directly down the stairs to what you've already seen. Um, and this little patio up here will eventually go, I don't know, maybe another level up, or it's... I don't really know what I want to do with this area yet. But, um, this area over here, I want to go ahead and clear all of this out and start on some new projects. Uh, primarily, probably farming uh, and uh, basically just making some area or some, you know, uh, clearing out this area for future projects. Um, so, without further ado... Alright guys, welcome back. So, we've cleared out most of the area that I wanted to. Um, as you see, I left a few trees um, around, which I may take a couple of these down. But in a way, I think that it's probably better to keep at least one or two of them in here, big ones, or I guess more than two. Uh, just because, uh, A, it's like, part of the area this is the jungle and I don't want to take away everything I will be taking that one down it's just gonna take a while to get to that and honestly it's not even in the way 
uh, of the main area. I mean, sure, if we end up expanding, uh, we can cut down trees that way. But uh, my main focus was to get this like area right here between these two lakes cleared, and uh, we did that. So great. Um, the next step, um, and you see right here, I've kind of made like kind of a way down right here. Um, what I planned on doing is having some farming areas or, I don't know, I'm just trying to really figure out what I want to do with this area. It's so nice and, and uh, plenty of room to do I thought it was pretty just unique. about uh, to have this, which I may end up uh, cutting this out right here and combining these two uh, river lake beds here to kind of make something that swoops around. I uh, haven't decided yet. Or I might just leave it like that. I really like this mountain right next to us. Uh, it kind of acts as a wall for my area. I like being encased. I don't know what it is. I just it feels safe. Um, not that I should be worried about anything right now. But uh, but yeah. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna take it as I you know as it goes and. I guess we'll build a couple of farms just the beginning. I do need to build a sheep farm somewhere. So that may be something uh, worth doing. I might just grab a few white sheep, um, put some fence down, and just start multiplying them. Because eventually I want to start uh, actually getting different colored sheep and getting a nice uh, sheep farm, which I'll probably use some redstone tools for that um, just to kind of get it going. So, all right, so I guess our next thing that we're going to do is I do need, if I'm going to build a farm area right here, I want to have some sort of a storage, a central storage area out here uh, for all the things. Like, I guess um, I want to go ahead and breed cows, pigs, uh, having sheep farms. Um, I mean, I want to have everything out here. Um, that I'll be easily accessible and maybe I can put some sort of a uh, storage facility right here in the middle um, and that this path right here will lead right into uh, I think that'll look pretty good I have an idea in mind that just popped in my head while I'm talking to you guys so I guess I'll go ahead and start on that and we'll see how much time we have after that and uh, We'll think about what else we're going to do out here, okay? All right, guys. Well, as soon as uh, I lay a small foundation, you'll get a better idea of what the storage area is going to look like. And then um, I'll just come back in different stages so you can kind of see it coming along. But I don't want to record the whole time, keep you guys, um, don't want to get you guys bored or anything uh, just for me building the simple layout. <coughs> But yeah, I'll, I'll just keep bringing you guys back, tell you a little bit more about what I'm going to do. And uh, yeah, all right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, so here we are with what I've got so far. I plan on putting some item frames uh, in probably these areas right here just to show each one of these uh, chests. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we have. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got ten chests on each side. So uh, yeah, plenty of, uh, plenty of space to uh, store items and whatnot. Um, and I think that'll be all the storage space I need currently for this area. Probably going to go ahead and have to get rid of this tree right here. Because it's so close to everything. It's kind of in the way. Uh, same for this one right here. And I think uh, maybe this one right here, which is really small. I'm going to go ahead and remove that right now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the trees I'm going to remove currently until I figure out what else uh, I'm going to do. So yeah, 
I do need to go find some animals, and once I've done that, I will be uh, right back. Alright guys. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, Alright, so we're not at my base right now. We are down in the Enderman farm, or in the end. Um, and this is partly due because A, uh, I need some, needed to do some enchantments, and B, today we had in mind, uh, or one of those diamond denominations, God, I can't even get the name right, uh, diamond domination episodes, and, uh, yeah, <sighs> I got blown up by a creeper, and, uh, I must have been pretty close to some lava, and there was water streams all over the place, and I picked up all of my stuff when I came back, and the only thing that was missing was my Silk Touch pickaxe, and the most valuable thing, all of the diamonds that I had found up to that point, which if you watch my Diamond Domination video, uh, episode 3, you will see what I'm talking about. But uh, anyways, we're going to get back to what I was doing before, uh, working on the uh, the nice area behind my base. Um, as soon as I get me another Silk Touch pickaxe. So we're here right now. We're going to do this. We're going to do a nice little uh, mini time lapse. Uh, nothing crazy. Um, I'm not going to even have to do any music. Um, we're just going to enchant a couple of pickaxes and hopefully we will get a Silk Touch. So without further ado, here we go. Alright guys, so we did finally get a Silk Touch, uh, wow, I've been sitting here for half an hour, maybe a little bit more, lost time, anyways, we're going to go ahead and make it a little bit better, because I have all of these Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4s, uh, I accidentally mixed the wrong thing, so I have to do this again, so let's do it like Ah, it's backwards. Let's do it like this. Wait a second. There we go. Okay. Looks good to me. All right. Um, we also got. Still got uh, some work picks. We've got three more. Fortune 3, Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3. Those are going to be my standard picks now. I used to say uh, those weren't my standard picks, but now i got to say that they are. So I have a ton of new picks. I'm happy that I got that back, although I did, you know, I had to spend quite a few diamonds to get that. Um, but yeah. It was, it was probably worth the two blocks of diamonds, 18 diamonds to get at that. Because we got a lot of other good picks too, so I'm not really uh, upset. So, anyways, we're going to make our way back, and I'll see you guys back at the base. Hey guys, so I'm back at my base, and I just did a little bit of caving, and I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys and see how many diamonds I get out of these 33 ore that I just found. 
So let's go ahead and lay them out. Not a bad day. Eighty-four. Can't say that's a bad run. All right, guys. Well, I guess that'll make up for everything that I lost today. I was really sad about missing that silk touch pickaxe plus the twenty ore that I found earlier. So getting the thirty-three tonight uh, really helped me out. Um, also, I try to do some more thinking about what I want to do over here. I haven't gone and found any animals yet. So we're going to just continue that in the next episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode and everything that you saw. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode. We will complete this little area over here. All right, guys. Well, I'm tired, and I think it's time to call it a night. So I'll see you guys next time.